Hello everybody, my name is Metallica and welcome back to my Let's Play series. Where we last left things off, we built this wonderful dock for all of the trading villagers to come into because, as I discussed in the last episode, the villagers that I moved into our houses are special. They can communicate with other villagers in this world. And because of that, we have villagers from far and wide coming to the stock to trade wares and goods with us and the other villagers of this village. And since then, I've been a little busy trying to build up the dock some more just to get things prepared for the villagers that are coming. So that's what we're going to do in today's episode. We're going to work on building up the stock. I'm thinking of making it sort of like a market. We're also going to build some ships out in the ocean that are heading this way. And if all goes according to plan, I hope that this is going to turn out really well. So as you can see, I have done a bit more work here at the dock. I've actually extended the platform we have going along right here. And I've built up the ground just a little bit more so that way it wasn't floating. I also added a few more decorative blocks around the barrels, mainly composters and crafting tables, just to give a bit more variety to what we're looking at and I think that it definitely adds a lot more detail and definitely looks a whole lot better. The only problem is now I need to figure out what to put up here and I was thinking of doing something like a market and a market I have created. Now I've got a few things dotted around inside each of these just to like fill up some space and I think overall it's turned out pretty good. Obviously not not everyone can afford a nice colorful roof. So unfortunately this guy's just got stuck with wood. But I want to walk you through what I've created. So I like to imagine, you know, the sailors, the voyagers get dropped off on their ships. They come walk up and immediately get greeted by uh, marketers trying to sell their goods cuz you know these guys have been traveling for a while. Obviously, they're going to want things like water and fresh clothes. Unfortunately, this guy doesn't have any right now. But they'll walk off and be able to walk around this market and see all of what these people have to offer, whether it be stuff in chess or a map of the new area. To, so that way they can learn and see what's around the immediate area. And they'll just be able to walk around, gather some resources and whatnot from different people here at the market as they make their way over to the town. And so overall, I am pretty happy with how this turned out. Now, let me tell you, gathering all this wool for the um, different market benches, places, huts, whatever these are called, gathering the different wool for all of these took much longer than I expected. So something we're going to do later in today's episode, and if we don't have time, I might do it in next week's or the week after, depending on when the next video comes out. I am planning to do a sheep farm. So that way we don't have to worry about collecting wool ever again, because I collected all of this wool from one little sheep. Something else I also did is I added some glow lichen to the bottom of the posts that hold the docks up because I wanted to imitate the look of like barnacles growing along the logs and I think the glow lichen has achieved that pretty well and so I added that along all or at least most of the posts and overall I think it achieves the look of barnacles growing really well. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to have a change of plans and do the sheep farm right now. Now, I was thinking that a good place to do the sheep farm, rather than just putting them all up in this little pen, is to actually put them underground beneath the barn. So that way we have plenty of room to like dig out the, I guess, cells would be the proper word, to put them in to harvest their wool. The wandering traders are multiplying. So as you can see, I have got a hole dug out down here and we are underneath our barn and I've got 16 chests laid out. Each of these represents where one color for each wool will be. So we could have like white, gray, black, each one represents a color. And this is going to be the formation that we lay out where we have our sheep. We're going to have eight on each side and I've got, I think, all of the resources here to construct it. 
and we're going to hop over into a test world really quick just to demonstrate how this is going to work. In front of me is the design that we are going to use for our sheep farm. So the way it works is we have our chest, we've got a hopper leading into that chest, a rail which has a hopper minecart sitting on, and up here is where our sheep is going to be. And the reason we have like a rail on top of the hopper for the minecart to sit on, rather than just having the hopper minecart sit directly on top of the hopper, is because it won't pick up a block that way. However, if we do that with a rail underneath the hopper minecart, it picks up the block and deposits it into the chest. And this is the design we're going to go with. We have an observer leading into the grass block, so that way when the sheep eats the grass, the observer will detect it which will trigger the dispenser, which will have some shears inside, which will then shear the sheep. And we'll keep a grass block underneath the grass here, which will allow the grass to then spread over to here, which will allow the sheep to eat the grass, therefore regaining its wool, and the whole process can just keep repeating over and over and over until we have enough wool for whatever our plans may be. So all of the cells have been built up. Our next order of business is either going to be decorating this to make it look nice or moving the sheep in and then decorating. But as you can see, every single cell has been built up and put in place. And what I want to do as part of the decorating process is to um, color coordinate each sheep. So the gray sheep will have the gray wool, blue, blue sheep, red wool, red sheep, and so on and so forth. But to do that, we need to get all the sheeps in here. And we need to collect all the different dyes to dye their wool. And I don't know about you, I don't have all the dyes. So I'm going to have to go on a little bit of a journey to get some of them. And I was able to find most of them. However, unfortunately, I was not able to find the green dye. So unfortunately, I am missing green, lime, and cyan to complete this. I'm going to have to find a desert, but unfortunately, I do not have the time to do that. So we're going to save that for a later journey. And instead, we are going to work on decorating this place and getting all of the sheep bred and moved into their little areas. And just like that, the decorations are done. Now, I haven't moved the sheep in quite yet. I think I'll do that between episodes just because... As any of you know, moving mobs is a pain. So, breeding the sheep and getting them down here, I will focus on doing that between episodes. So, I just focused on decorating, and I think it turned out pretty well, all things considered. I tried to go for a um, similar approach that I went with the barn, mostly the stone, deep slate, and spruce wood. And I think that it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Still need to get the green dye. I think I'll focus on that between episodes as well. But it may not happen. I have no idea where to look for a desert in this world to get cactus. But for the meantime, now that that's over, we are going to focus on something else. And that something else is going to be the ship that the villagers from far and wide are going to become traveling in. And unfortunately, I need to dig that out. But... I'm hoping that won't take too long, and then we can begin work on the pirate ship. So I think this is going to be done in the form of a time lapse, so I hope you enjoy. to dig down but it has been dug and as you can see we have a nice clear area to build our ship but unfortunately that is gonna have to wait till the next episode and I know I know this episodes really short compared to some of my others and I do apologize for that 
I apologize, I wasn't able to get an episode out last week, but that is why I'm going to have to end today's episode a little bit earlier than I would have liked, because it is currently 3 in the morning for me, and I want to get an episode out for you guys, because I didn't last week. I don't want to let you guys down, so unfortunately that is where I'm going to have to end today's episode. Again, I am so, so sorry, but at least you'll have this episode to watch, and I will try... I will try, try, try to get an episode out for you guys next week. I'm still trying to work with my schedule. It's a little bit inconsistent right now, but I am trying. So with all that being said, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode because my name is Metallica. This has been Minecraft. If you enjoyed today's episode, please, please consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, please consider subscribing as it helps me out a ton. With all that being said, I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.